more than 42 lakh of the inhabitants of india are using the jio network the customer will expect the wide varieties of product under the same brand iron customers are the very sensitive customers where they are the offers and the discount seekers where they are not at all a loyal customer the customer will expect the good quality of the product with the affordable price hello everybody a warm welcome to one and all i am mr hemant kumar from the department of management and commerce vidyashram first grade college the temple of excellence before moving to the concept of consumer behavior let us know who is a consumer the consumer is the one who is going to purchase the product only for his personal consumption not for the resale of the product hence the consumer is a end user of a product or a service so the consumer behavior is about the way the consumer respond to purchase the product or a service means before purchasing the product or a service the consumer will make the purchase decision based on various criteria this kind of a behavior of a consumer we call it as a consumer behavior in the first unit that we are going with the introduction to the consumer behavior meaning and definition of the consumer behavior need to study the consumer behavior customer and the consumer buyer and the user and also the applications of the consumer behavior in marketing introduction to the consumer behavior consumer behavior is the process to which the ultimate buyer make the purchase decision as i discussed consumer behavior is all about the ultimate buyer make the purchase decision about the product or a service the study of the consumer behavior is the study of how individual make decision so the study of the consumer behavior is about how the individual make decision what kind of decision the purchase decision to spend their available resources to consumption related items means he is going to spend his money for the consumption to purchase the product to the consumption many psychological sociological and the cultural elements play a role in how the consumers engage with the market so there are three factors that is influencing the consumer to make a purchase decision one is the psychological factor psychological factor is all about the internal factor that influence the customer to purchase the product the second one is the sociological factor these are the external factors or the external environment factors that is influencing the consumer to purchase the product it may be the family it may be the friend it may be the social class so these are the factors that influence the customer to purchase the product the next one is the culture as we know the culture does not remains constant from one geographical location to another geographical location hence it keep on changing from one place to another the culture of south india is not as same as the culture of the north india consumer behavior is a study of how the individual customers groups or organization select buy use and dispose ideas goods and services to satisfy the needs and wants consumer behavior is a systematic study of how the individual group and the organization it is not the study of only the individual but also it is the study of group and organization what the group and organization individual group and organization they do they select the product before purchasing the product they select the product with the decision making process they make buying decision and after that they purchase the product they use the product and after using the product definitely they will end up either with the satisfaction or dissatisfaction of the product and he is going to dispose the ideas of either it is a satisfaction or dissatisfaction of using the goods or the services to satisfy their needs and wants moving for the definition of consumer behavior according to the angel blackwell and mansert consumer behavior is a actions and the decision process so consumer behavior is not only the 
action process but also it is a decision making process where the consumer make the decision to purchase uh, goods or services of people who purchase goods and services. Hence it is a decision making process who make the purchase of goods and services for personal consumption. So it is a decision making process of the one who is going to purchase the product only for the personal consumption. Need to study the consumer behavior, creation and retention of the consumer. In today's competitive world, it is not only the objective of the entrepreneur to create the customer but also to retain the customer. He must use some marketing strategy to create and retain the customer. For example, in 2016, to capture the market, the Geo company had issued free SIM card to its customer with the free data package and also the talk time package. All the customer rushed towards the Geo company and they started using Geo SIM cards. They give the offer up to six months. After six months, the Geo company had launched the cheapest internet and the data package to its customer to retain the customer. As a result, today more than 42 lakh of the inhabitants of India are using the Geo network. Hence, the Geo company had issued free SIM card with the free data package to its customer to create the customer and also he launched the cheapest internet and the data package to retain the customer. Hence, Geo company had captured the market and also the it retained the customer. Develop a new product. In today's generation, the customer will expect the wide varieties of product under the same brand. Hence, to survive in the market, the manufacturer must manufacture the varieties or the segments of the product under the same brand. Best example is Parley company had captured the market by launching the biscuit called Parley G. It was the highest selling biscuit few years ago. But today, the Parley company have a various segments of product to compete against the competitors. Next concept is competition. Today, there is a truth rate competition in the market for a beginner. Hence, to take the competitive advantage of the situation, the consumer behavior is very helpful for the entrepreneur to use the marketing strategy. Dynamic nature of the market. So, as we know, the trend, perception, needs and wants of the customers does not remain constant. It get updated from one generation to the another generation. Hence, the nature of the market is dynamic, not the static. It changes from one generation to the another generation. The entrepreneur must get updated himself by manufacturing the product as per the dynamic nature of the market. Effective use of productive resources. In today's generation, the customer will expect the good quality of the product with the affordable price. Hence, to minimize the cost of production if we utilize the productive resources very efficiently then we can produce the product with the minimum cost and also we can launch the product with the affordable price hence it is helpful to capture the market achievement of goals the goal of one business is not as similar as a goal of another business. Hence, to reach the ultimate goal of the business, this consumer behavior is very helpful. Hence, to reach the ultimate goal of the business, the business used to set the small goals and after reaching the small goals, it can reach the ultimate goal of the business. Useful for dealers and salesmen. This consumer behavior is not only useful for the manufacturer to produce the product and also it will be very useful for the dealers and the salesmen to bring the product as per the demand that is demanded by the customers. Consumer differentiation. As we know, we had divided the consumers into various segments. So, one category of people wants and needs is not as similar as the wants and needs of the another category of people. Hence, this consumer behavior is very helpful to manufacture the product as per the needs and wants of the consumer. For example, the needs and wants of the youths are completely different from the needs and wants of the aged people. The concept of 
customer and the consumer. So we already aware of the channels of distribution. Who are all the participants who come in the channels of distribution? The channels of distribution starts from the manufacturer, go to the agent, then the wholesaler, retailer and the consumer. So these are the participants of the channels of distribution. Here the customer is the one who is going to purchase the goods either for his consumption or for the resale of the goods or the services. Here the customer is a one who purchase the product either for the consumption or for the resale of the product. But the consumer is a one who is going to purchase the product only for the consumption purpose, not for the purpose of resale the product. Here all the consumers can become the customer, but not all the customers can become the consumer. Hence, these all players can become the customer, but they cannot become a consumer because the consumer is a end user of the product. The customers are divided into four categories based on their behavior. The first category of the customer is a platinum customer. Platinum customer are very loyal towards one particular brand. Hence, they are not the price sensitive customers. Hence, they expect a very good quality of the product. They won't bother about the price of the product. The second category of the customer is a gold customer. These are the second category of the customers where they are the price sensitive customers. They are loyal towards one particular brand, but they may change the brand if the competitor offer a discount in the product. The third category of the customer is the iron customer. Iron customers are the very sensitive customers where they are the offers and the discount seekers where they are not at all a loyal customer. The fourth category of the customer is a lead customer. This category of customers, they expect the quantity of the product rather than the quality of the product. They are going to purchase the product which is available in the market at a cheapest price. Whichever the product that is available in the market for the cheapest price, this kind of customers, they are going to purchase that product. Next is type of consumers. So loyal consumers. So loyal consumers are the consumers. They are the one who maintain the loyalty towards one particular brand. They doesn't change their brand. Hence, they are the loyal customers. Impulse customer. Impulse customers are the spot decision makers. Hence, this kind of customers make the decision on spot to purchase the product. Hence, these are the discount seekers. Price sensitive customers. Hence, these are the customers who compare the price of a one brand product towards the another brand product and they purchase the product which is convenient as per their budget. Innovators and the early adopters. As the name itself it is going to suggest they are the early adopters of the product. Hence, they are going to purchase the product for the first time. They do not have the practical knowledge about the product. Hence, they may have the theoretical knowledge towards the product. Buyers and users. Buyers have the money to make a purchase decision for a product. So buyers are the one who is going to purchase the product because they have a money they might ask you for a features. So they are going to purchase the product based on the features or the characteristics of the product. The users are nothing but the consumers of the product. Here buyers and the users may be a single person or different person. For example, if a father purchase a chocolate and offer to his daughter, then the daughter will be the consumer, the father will be the buyer. Applications of consumer behavior in marketing. Analyzing the market opportunity. It is the duty of the entrepreneur to analyze the market opportunity that is available in the market. Hence, the consumer behavior is the right platform to study the market opportunities, unsatisfied needs and wants of the customer. Hence, it provoke the entrepreneur to manufacture the product to satisfy the needs and wants of the customers. Selecting target market. So, as we know, we had divided the market into the segments. Hence, consumer behavior teach us to select the target audience to capture the market. For example, I am going to establish a t-shirt manufacturing unit in Mysore city, but 
who are my target audience the youths are my target audience hence by studying the consumer behavior i can target my audience and also i can manufacture the product as per their taste and preferences as per their needs and wants the next concept is marketing mix decision so there are four p's in marketing there are four p's in marketing the first one is a product price place promotion hence this consumer behavior help us to take the decision in the marketing regarding the product which product i have to manufacture at what price i can manufacture the product and what place that i can launch the product and at the same way which are all the ways i can find to promote my product this consumer behavior give the answer for this marketing mix questions the last concept is use in social and non profit organization it is the tactics that is used by the non profit organization to promote the message or the organization to raise the fund in the next session we are going with the consumer retention process factors influencing the consumer behavior internal factors of the consumer behavior and the external factors of the consumer behavior thank you